Hey y'all, Cassie from Elementor here. In this video, we'll create a cookie consent pop-up. It's pretty self-explanatory, so let's get to it. Use Command plus E to open the Finder and give your pop-up a name. I want to go over some options in the library. Click the Category drop-down and let's briefly go over the options here. The categories represent the different types of pop-ups. Let's start with Classic. This is the most popular use of a pop-up. Traditionally, it appears as an opt-in form in the middle of the screen, with an overlay that obscures the background. Next up, we have Fly-In. Fly-In pop-ups are effective because they draw the user's attention. As the name suggests, these pop-ups look like they're flying in to the screen. Full-screen pop-ups are great for directing your user's attention to one specific call to action or promotion. Then there's the ever-popular Hello Bar pop-up. Use these primarily for sales promotions and announcements. On to the slide-in pop-up. Slide-in pop-ups can be used for any purpose, and as you can see, they take up the entire height of the screen. Now we'll check out the bottom bar pop-up. Bottom bars can be used for a variety of reasons, including announcements or as a cookie consent, which we'll show you how to set up. Come on, let's edit it. Change the button text. In content, slide on Don't Show Again. This makes it disappear after the user accepts the cookie. And make the button larger. In style, choose a color from the palette or type in a hex code. Remove the padding from the template, duplicate the bottom on right click, edit the text, link it, and increase the size. Also in style, use the settings to make the second button stand out less. Change its colors, and add a line underneath. To finish it off, let's design the overall bar, align the text to the left, and align the button to justified. Stretch the button and text across the bar, making it more proportional. Click the cog to enter the pop-up settings, and turn off the overlay. In Style, adjust the color shade. In Advanced, slide the first two, Prevent Closing on Overlay and Escape, to Yes. Publish, and let's set the conditions and triggers. Let's add the condition Include to include the pop-up across the entire site. Choose Exclude so it appears across the site, except for in the Terms of Use page. In the Triggers tab, Page Load, slide to Yes. Next, Save and Close. Let's see how it looks, and try out both options, Accept and Decline. So have fun exploring the pop-up template library to get you started designing your own cookie consent forms. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Catch you later.